Hey everybody, welcome back. Right where we left off. Literally left the game paused. So, I'm gonna pick this up. Actually, I want to see if she makes a comment about his body. No, she's just like walking all over it. Like, uh, there you go. Yeah. That's what I think of you. Jesus, that's, that's some cold shit right there, man. Look at this. Look at this, man. Seriously. As many times as I play this game, sometimes it's just kind of good to like to like stop and fresh blood is smeared on the blade you know what i want to know is what he wound up doing with that the 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 girl's body the daughter of the mayor i never knew what he did that's something disturbing stuff something i never really like i don't know maybe somebody has a theory about that because you never see the body again that's never brought up again you never see it like in the on the table it would have been kind of cool if you saw it on the table or maybe it's better that they don't show it so you can like reach your own conclusions and try to figure out what exactly happened to it either way it's very disturbing and it's like he's there for such a short, short period of time in the game but it's like it's nice to just sort of appreciate how genuinely creepy his character actually really is and as we see this creature little fearsome because he has that pipe wait this is the form that attacked Ben so why did he not look like that before he's gonna wail on him till he dies oh my god he's like look at the eye going crazy did you see that Oh, later. Oh gosh. Will you push the button? Yes. I think I have to- I, I don't think I'm gonna be allowed to go up the ladder without getting Sherry. Be going too far at this point. So for now, we're safe, which is good. Go back. But yeah, seriously, what are your thoughts on what happened with the mayor's daughter's body? We may never know. But it maybe it's kind of cool that we don't know. Like I said. Just- Let's the let's the player kind of reach his or her own conclusion regarding that. That's interesting. Ooh. So that yeah, like I said, there's just something very disturbing when you really kind of sit down and think about these characters. And that, so I think they did a really good job of it. When you compare that and contrast it with Code Veronica, it's like they tried to beat you over the head. And off we go with Sherry in tow. But anyway, like, when you compare it and contrast it with Code Veronica, where the characters... Like, the concept of the characters, for example, Alex and Al Al the Alex. Oh gosh. What is the name? Alexia, sorry. And Alfred Ashford, you know, those twins? Like... Oh, I forgot. Sherry gets tired every once in a while, so you have to, like, make sure. So this is how I usually do it. I just take a few steps and sort of stop. I mean, she's, she's fairly okay about it, but there's times where if you're, like, running really, really, really fast and you don't bother stopping, she will stop. But it's not too bad, I don't think. Yep, there's, um, there's some nightmare fodder for Sherry. She's gonna need years of therapy seeing that half of body. Okay, I don't think I need the grenade launcher equipped at this, at this point in my life, but, uh, just put it away for now. you go up yes why yes i will but anyway they like you know here are these like really creepy twins with this like strange relationship with each other which is creepy in and of itself and you know but 
but it's either the, I guess it's the voice acting plus the the over the top cheesy music. So it kind of just like ruins the atmosphere that they were trying to create. Maybe the Dark Side Chronicles did a better job of making them seem more creepy. So I, I have to check out that game. I played a tiny bit of it. stop here for no reason. <laughs> Sherry? Where are you? Sherry! Oh, well, sucks to be her. No, poor thing. The floodgate is open. Yep. That it is. That it is. I'm sorry, but that animation was a little bit funny, you have to admit. So unlike in the Claire A scenario, where you, where you would actually at that point take control of Sherry, Claire B is like, F all that, you're just gonna keep playing as Claire. She's fine. Spoilers. Spoiler alert. Okay. So now, here we go. There's quite a few things to do now that we're in the sewers. And one of the first orders of business, completely optional, but it's always helpful because there's supplies in here. Every time an opportunity presents itself, I always like to pick up the supplies, so it's good. There's a zombie in here. I think he's still alive. Oops. Ugh, oh, good grief. I love wasting ammo. I've done that like... Oops. Pretty sure he's dead now. At this point in the game... If you have a decent amount of ammo. See, you can walk out this door, but I've always been afraid to because I hear... Watch, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you. This would be... I don't know, I'm hearing so something running around out there. I'm not going to bother. I've always been afraid to go out there. If anybody who's played the game and actually played that part can tell me what's out there been playing this game for how many years now? This game came out in 1998. This game is what? Oh my gosh, it's almost 18 years old? Is that right? Is that so? My gosh. Oh, I know. I know, I know, I know. That is actually the door that Sherry would run through if you're playing as Sherry in the Claire A scenario. And then what winds up happening is, I'll show you, she runs around that same zombie that I just killed and goes through that that shaft there okay so it was probably nothing out there but I, i'm just too paranoid i don't want to deal with it and the nice thing about the b scenario is so you'll see in a second i will see leon's where leon entered so you can there's like a first aid spray in here you can get if you want i'm not gonna pick it up though but just in case you need it it's there is there anything? I picked up the ammo from that bag, which is good. The nice thing about this scenario is that you can actually access Leon's save room. And when you're playing the B scenario character, you can access the other person's save room, which is really, really good. Okay, but I'm gonna start putting a lot of things away. Do I need this? I feel like I don't need this. You know what? I'm just gonna take that just in case. And... I'm actually gonna go ahead and put a lot of the- I'm gonna put all the herbs away. I always leave- I always have a green herb in my possession, but I'm gonna pick up some anyway, so I don't need it. I'm gonna put this away. Oh, I literally have no ammo. Oh, okay. Uh, you know what? I'll leave that. I think I'm good. And then I need the valve handle, and I'm gonna need this too. The bait. I think I'm good. If I encounter a very difficult enemy, I can always use the grenade launcher. I really don't want to, but just in case. I doubt I will, though. So let's keep going. What happened? You're bleeding! I... I, 
I ran into this woman who was in trouble. Her name's Ada. Right after that, someone tried to kill me. Nearly succeeded, too. Ada went after the sniper, but I I'm worried about her. I gotta find her before, s before something happens. But you've been shot. I'll be okay. It's Ada I'm worried about. There goes Leon thinking with his dick. <laughs> oh god. Ada, 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 Ada. Like, dude, you got shot pretty close to your heart, too. Like, he's typical, typical bro. Just kidding, of course. So this is what I was talking about. You can actually access Leon's... This is Leon's save room, which you saw in the A scenario. And I always recommend it because, check this out, you get ammo here, which is great. You get a bunch of herbs, which is pretty sweet, too. That's always a good thing. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give and you get even more supplies, which is excellent. Alright. You know what I'm gonna start to do? I'm gonna start to leave lone green herbs. I'm not gonna do this whole like mixing thing too because I don't know how many more red herbs I wanna pick up and I, I wanna actually have green herbs available, lone green herbs available. So that way I can actually, you know, come use them because you obviously you can't you can't use any any red herbs by themselves. They don't do anything. You need to mix them. So this is Leon's storeroom down here. You obviously can't do this in the A scenario. No matter how hard you try, believe me, I've tried. For some reason, this storeroom always freaked me out because it was dark and there was you couldn't hear anything. There's no music. I believe this is the first time I'm picking up flame rounds, unless there were some in the in some room I missed in the police station. I doubt it though, I, uh, unless there were some in the interrogation room that I that I passed up. So that interrogation room is gonna remain a mystery to you guys. Sorry. Actually, the flame rounds. The flame rounds are pretty decent against William Birkin. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put them away for now. Okay. I'm gonna keep this and this. I want both of these. And we're gonna keep going. There we go. So there's a lot of little like intricacies in this game that really it's easy to sort of miss and not appreciate. Does he say anything else? I'll be okay. It's Ada I'm worried about. Of course. They just tend to repeat the last line that they said, so that's okay. Yeah, but for some reason the sewers are still freaking me out. Even though I've played this game a bunch of times. Well, good job. Good job. Good job on this game for still freaking me out. After all this time. Is there anything else that these people have? Yes, they do. Hey, there's another set of flame rounds. That's good. Actually, you get quite a few flame rounds. Relatively quickly. You're gonna see some more coming up. Oh, gosh. I don't know if that body behind me has anything, but I'm not gonna bother. I don't want to risk getting poisoned just to see if he has anything on him. Maybe he does, who knows. Okay, I'm just gonna run in here very quickly. Her. What? I told her to go to the police building. 
Why is she here? Now Sherry and the cheese apple are both in danger. Uh. What did she mean by that? Does Sherry have a cheese apple? Means she's a selfish bitch. That's what it means. Jesus. Just let me just walk all over her body. Just, there you go. There you go. That's what I think of you. There you go. Like, you know, my god, lady, that's your only kid. And you're still too busy. Oh, the G virus, the G virus. First of all, I love how she's like shocked that Claire knows her name. You know, Claire's like, oh, you're Annette. And then Annette's like, how did you know that? Even though not two seconds before, she's like, oh, you're after my G virus. So, like, you know, make up your mind, lady. Doesn't make any sense. Alright, so this is what I meant. That's why I didn't bother picking up any G-Virus. Oh god. I didn't pick up any G-Virus. I didn't take any herbs with me because I knew I was going to pick up some more up here. And I'm actually out of space. That's a bit of a problem. Oh, whoops. I didn't... I didn't mean to do that. I'm going to send that bridge up. That's it. I don't know why it, that's that it automatically sends me back into my inventory whenever it does that. I I don't know why. I guess it's just to show you that you still have your valve handle. And that's the only thing I can think of. And now check this out. You know what I just realized? Check this out right here. Leon was collapsed in that like corridor outside of the save rooms. But meanwhile, Somehow he managed to make it past me using the same pathway that I used and he already beat the alligator because the canister, the explosive canister that you used to beat the alligator is gone and there's no alligator in here anymore. So again, when you like really sort of sit down and dissect the timeline, there's a lot of inconsistencies, there's a lot of errors. I mean it doesn't diminish the fun of the game. This game is still like, you know, I'll play this till the day I die. I will. This is like one of my favorite games of all time and I really mean that a lot, you know? Oh fuck, I forgot. I'll just, even though I don't like doing this, I'll just combine it just for the sake of creating a space. And it's okay because I will free up those two spaces anyway. And I'm just gonna use this right here. I think when I first played through this B scenario, and so I obviously got to this part and I'm just like, of also having played the A scenario, I was like, I knew where Sherry was because you play as her. But in this B scenario, you have no idea where Sherry is. So I'm like, oh my God, did I miss a room? Is she hiding in a room? I kind of, I didn't know. Oh God, Ugh. disgusting. I don't know. Roaches freak me out. And I and you know a lot of bug a lot of bugs actually don't really freak me out. Like wait a second. Now that I have a free moment, let me see. Do you have anything? It's too dark to see what's inside. I don't really want to see what's inside. I just wanted to see if that guy had a had a had some ammo on him. Oh god. Where these zombies came from, I don't know. But at least it's easy kind of running around without having to worry about Sherry. It's a little convenient. Alright. Oh, I don't know. These spiders freak me out, but they're creating a sick-ass beat. I like it. Like, freaking Skrillex could get in, get in on that. I'm just gonna put one more metal in, and we're good. You know... That's a cool system and all to to drain the water you use those metals, but like what if you lose one of those metals? That like that's not really practical. You know. At least have some kind of code or have some kind of, you know, key card that multiple people have, but like these metals? I don't know. It's just not terribly practical in my opinion. Just saying. This camera angle bothers me, I said this before, but it's like, I feel like there's supposed to be something on this shelf and there's not. I don't know, that's gonna drive me nuts. So, again, look at this. Leon and Ada 
managed to make their way out of here before us because I have to bring the tram back. They just used it. It's just, it's just not possible. So at this point I was like, I, I don't know where Sherry is, so I just was ready to get on here and check that out. That solves that issue. Sherry, you're okay. Sherry, did your mom give you something called G-Virus? Either a vial or a test tube? G-Virus? I've never heard of anything like that before. Are you absolutely sure? If you give it to me, I'll hold on to it for safekeeping. But I really don't have anything. It's the truth. Why would your mom say something like that? Now, so now we have Sherry back. This song that's playing right here is really interesting. I kind of like it. It's a good song. And it's the only time that it plays, only in this scenario, only in this part. And for the life of me, I don't know... I don't know... It's not on the soundtrack. I have the soundtrack and I have... There's like two soundtracks for this song. You have the soundtrack that has the, like the more iconic songs and then you have the other one, like additional tracks that are like a little more atmospheric. Not as memorable as like the Save Room song, for example. But whether it's that CD or the other one, like I said, it, it took me a while to track down both of those, but... I couldn't find that particular song in there, so if anybody knows how to get it, I'm sure some like avid Resident Evil fan like ripped the song, you know what I mean? Just for completion's sake. But I, I don't know, I just found that really interesting. I like it. And not to mention also, you'll hear later the song that plays towards the end of the game, which is, you know, when the, when, uh, the Umbrella Factory is about to self-destruct. There's a moment- oh, I forgot. Okay, Cher, you need to really seriously get behind me. Okay, good. Okay, so I'm definitely low on space. So unlike with Leon and Ada, where Ada was actually helping you a little bit- Oh no, why did the camera angle change? You're just shooting by yourself, which is- Which is what it is. But at least Sherry's not stupid and running around, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so that guy... Hmm... Hang on. I'm just thinking what's in this room. You know what? Don't even bother going that way, you know why? Because... Behind that enemy is a spark shot, and a weapon, that's- a, it's a Claire-only weapon, it's called a spark shot, and it sucks. I hate that stupid weapon, it takes up two item slots in your inventory, and it's really... I haven't really found a use for it. It's just a waste of time getting the ammo to kill the zombie to get to it, and then it's a waste of space, and... It might be really good against... Okay, we really... Oh, fuck. You guys really need to die. Okay, we're good. I don't know why Sherry's trying to touch my ass, but... I think that guy's dead in the back. Yeah, he's dead too. Okay. Now, I don't know if there's a zombie or two back here. Nope. I think we're clear. So there's herbs back here, which is good. I'll pick up this one. But like I said, yeah, if you want to check out the spark shot, you know, feel free to. It was in that previous hallway. Um, it might be good against a particular enemy. I just couldn't be bothered to, like, experiment with it. And it's one of those percentage-based weapons, like it'll say 100%, then it'll go down. Like the flamethrower in in Leon scenario, I guess that weapon's even worse. Sherry, wait here. I'm going to check it out by myself. Okay, I'll wait here, but hurry back. See, at least, it's, you know, there might be one or two people that are super annoyed by Sherry, but at least she's smart. She actually listens to Claire. She, you know, if Claire says, stay right here, I mean, at first she was resistant, but I get why. Like, it, it's reasonable. Like, if you feel like your family member's in trouble, you're gonna go to them and, you know, you're gonna 
try to you know try to help them out so that's understandable like like i said sherry's character even for it to be a young kid that sort of thing is a re is reasonable you know she's still relatable and i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna substitute this out oh right i forgot you no longer need these the f i might need the do i need the lighter for something later i can't remember i don't think so I'm gonna try to really hold off on using the the acid rounds. Whoa, did the game get darker or something? That was weird. It just looked a little strange to me. There's a keyhole. Okay. So, and by the way, I, I always say this every time I play th through this part of the game. I love how they included this part of the game in a lot of the- in quite a few other Resident Evil titles, like Zero. It's in Zero. I gotta- I keep mentioning Zero so many times, and when you think about it, there's like so many similarities between that game and this game. I gotta play it. I'm gonna get it. The HD, like, remaster is coming out very soon. It's like coming out in, like, a week or something like that. Less than a week, so very, very soon. And I wanna check it out. So I'll see. So maybe that'll be a Let's Play that I do for you guys, because I like you guys a lot. But this is this is definitely a new area unique to the B scenario. Control panel key. <laughs> I love this. This part is awesome. Okay, I guess this dude does not like cameras. I'm just I'm not even gonna bother moving, I'm just gonna stay here until he He's walking this way, so I'm just gonna. As soon as she aims at him, I will get hit, I'm sure. Ow! Oh! Fuck you, dude. Look at this. Look what he did to me. Okay, I'm okay, though. I thought for sure I was gonna die. If he would have hit me that third time, he probably would have put me in danger, maybe. Screw him, though. If I used the acid rounds, he probably would have gone down sooner, but I wasn't gonna... I wasn't gonna waste my acid rounds. There's too many things I need to use them on. I may not be getting any more, actually. I don't... I don't remember if there's any more acid rounds to pick up in the game. Okay, so we're good. The, the main purpose of that was to get this key. <laughs> One of the times that I played through that part, I thought I was being clever. Okay, so now Sherry's with me, so that's good. One of the times I... Uh, you know what, let me put this key... Let me use this key. Hang on. First. You know, I knew that you if you turn on the monitor, you get that. Cutscene. Okay, Sherry. Let's go. Alright. Let's not go just yet. I want to make sure I'm fully equipped. I want some health items. I don't need this right here. And I thought, okay, well, if I if I turn on the monitor, this guy will will show up. So I'm not gonna bother turning on the monitor. And maybe he won't. Maybe that won't trigger his appearance. No, of course not. He still shows up. I thought I was being clever, but that was clearly not the case. Okay, so let's move on. I am gonna go ahead and equip the flame rounds so you'll see, you'll finally see those in action. So this is the same tram, the same train. Once again, once again, you know, the tram was used by Leon. Again, I don't understand how he used it before me. Because if you look at the A scenario, it's one thing to say, well, Leon probably got up and used a different route than you. I mean, you, look, look, it's obvious that Leon was here before me, because look, that happened with Ada. You know, that whole situation? With William Birkin. Oh. That's easy enough, I can still use it. I can still pick it up, that is. Look at that, 30 flame rounds. I think that's plenty. Okay, now we're good. And other than that, I think that's it. Yeah, that has to be it. Okay. So, 
What was I saying? I completely lost my train of thought. Like I do. Like I always do. But anyway, we're just gonna move on. I'm gonna turn this on. And here we go. I'm, I'm actually really excited. Resident Evil Zero was not close to my favorite Resident Evil game. Not even in my top two. But now that I'm thinking about it, and of course I'm hearing, you know, news about it, I really want to check it out. And of course it has Wesker in it, so that's always a nice bonus. Ooh, right here. Me and my- oh god. Case of emergency, blah blah blah. Same- you know, same message prompt that Leon got. So this time you have to go all the way- well, sort of halfway around here. Oh my god. So look at this. Jesus Christ. Let's talk about how disturbing this G-Virus is. Okay, so he's a lot, like, more formidable. He jumps a little more. Okay, oh my gosh, especially when he- oh fuck. Aha, okay good, I wanted him to jump behind me. Oh god, he's actually really close to me. Oh god, he's gonna hit me? No. Oh, this is a really awful camera angle. I don't know where he is. I don't know where he is. This is bad. Oh, he jumped again. Shit. Oh my god. Oh god. Okay, there we go. I just don't like when, when I don't know where he is. Uh, I think he's done. I think he's done. So dude's just hanging out on the train, seeing who he gets. And that's it. That's kind of cool. And I like how the door knows that the threat is gone. Warning, the motor has been stopped due to problems with overheating. Isn't this... That's okay. You keep it. I'm sure it'll keep you safe. Wait here for me, okay? I'm going back to look for your mom. Thanks, Claire. Even though I'm an only child, neither of my parents ever spent much time with me because of their work. But now that you're with me, I finally have someone to rely upon. Sherry. Okay. So that's that. So, unlike in the A scenario, I'm actually stopped at a different floor because of what happened with the motor. It overheated. So, I kind of like that. See, that's what I'm talking about. So here you are in the B scenario, you're in a completely different area that you never saw in the A scenario, which is really great. I hope that they do that more. That would be something I would really like to see more of in the remake. Because it opens up some new areas, opens up new, some new things to do. Sherry's by herself. That's actually kind of, kind of scary, right? Okay. But anyway, we're in this brand new area, so let's explore it a little bit. But we're gonna explore it in the next video because I think I'm just about out of time. So I'll just go ahead and go through this door and call it a video. All right. Until next time.